Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. Now in this video, let's work with the form to submit this form and create a new post. So we have it, we are in the post create page and let's open, let's start and open the VS code first. Let's go to create a blade inside the resources, views, posts. And here we have the form. Now inside the form, in the form tag, I'm going to add the method, which is going to be post uppercase and the action which is going to be slash post okay then we have an input with type id and let's change this other your message to be a content here and we have an id for the text area here and a rows now if i save that and let's open the web routes when we register the route we have registered this route resource slash post. Now if I open the terminal here and let me just create a new one and say PHP or in my case is art because I created the alias for that. So PHP artisan route colon list and we have here a post the post URL then we have the name of this route, which is post.store and the controller is post controller at store. Okay, so the control we have the Laravel is the MVC, which stands for model view controller. So the blade is the view. Here is the controller. And we have also the model which is up here, so models post. Let's go to store method and here we have this request by default. When we created the controller, we use this illuminate HTTP request. And when we send a post request to this URL, let's for now just say die and dump and pass in the request all here. Okay, or just request if you want. And let's save. Let's go back, refresh, and if I say uh, just click here, we have 419 page expired. And you may have the same uh, error, and this means Laravel is protecting us, so we need to add the CSRF protection in our form. Let's go to create blade, as I told you in the previous one. After the form, we need to add the CSRF token. CSRF uh, blade directive, which under the hood, if I save that and just go back here and refresh, inspect the element. And here we have the input. Okay, so if I zoom it a little bit, we have an input type hidden name underscore token and the value is the token. Okay. Now we have that. Let's refresh and let's just hit. And I'm going to change that uh, default to say store. Okay, the button. So yeah. Now if I click store, we have the request here, which has attributes, a request, a query, and so on the path info request URI also has the session. Now if I go to this one request input back and has an array which has only that token for that now we don't have that uh, 419 error. Okay but what we want is also to have uh, the title and the content. To have the title and the content inside the request we need Add a name in our uh, input. So inside the input, we need to add also the name. And what the name is going to be, we are going to have inside the control. So let's say name title for the input title, and for the text area, I'm going to say name content. Now, if I save that and come here and refresh, let's say store again, go to request. And as you can see, we have parameters an array with three items. Now we have a token, a content, and the title, which 
are null because we are not we're not filling them now if I refresh and let's go back on the controller now what we want is to create a post and we learn that how to create with the tinker and the same thing we're going to do also here we're going to use the model post model which is the wrapper or of the post uh, database table and here we have all the methods as you can see we have create uh, all update and so on we're going to learn one by one so let's say create and here we are going to pass inside the parentheses an array and we're going to add title which is going to be a request title and body which and content is going to be the request content okay so just one more time to show you if I say die and dump not request all but let's say for now just request title and save come here and refresh store we have null if I go back and add something inside the title input say store now we have that string here okay let's go back and let's remove now this die and dump let's save and also I'm going to open the table plus here to just to show you inside the post we have only this first post now let's go and create something here so I'm going to say second post here and add something in the content and let's say store we have a blank page okay but if I open here the post table and refresh now here we have the second post congratulations so we created a new post but what we want is when we store a new post we want uh, for example to go back the post index and how we can do that by saying here return redirect it's going to redirect and also we have this route helper pass in here the route name okay so if I open again the terminal we have here the names for slash pose we have this name post.index for the post post we have this post store post slash create we have post.create as a name for post slash single post we have this post.show and so on if I use this one let's come here and go back again and refresh I'm going to say uh, just something here to create a new post store and as you can see now we redirected back the post index and if I open again the post table we have a new post here good also we can use here return the route like this this is another new method and if I go back go to create and let's say for the last time something here let's say store and we redirect the post index page okay friends so that's it all about this video what I wanted to show you and if you like such a videos don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video share with your friends and see you in the next one all the best thank you very much